Welcome back guys, how are we all? Welcome to your second Python project. Now, really sorry for being so inactive for such an extended period of time. My microphone unfortunately had some issues, but I've now got a new one, and I'm going to be creating videos more frequently once more. So basically, in this project, we're going to be incorporating the two most recent things we've learned about, which have indeed been while loops and lists. And we're going to be constructing a program that's going to continue prompting the user for input, which will be another item for their shopping list, until they enter a blank line, at which stage we will then print out their list back to them. Okay, so how we're going to start this off is we're going to have a current input variable. So I'm going to name that current item. And I'm going to set it equal to a space character. Now, just I just want to ensure to you guys, that cannot be blank. We need to make sure that it actually has something in there. So it could be like that, but just ensure it's not blank. Next, we're going to have our main while loop. So while current item does not equal blank. So until they enter a blank line, we're going to continue prompting for them for input. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, so current item equals input, enter a item. Now once we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is, um, we're going to do if current item, does not equal a blank line. We're gonna um, have our list. So sorry, I forgot to um, create our list at the start. So we're gonna call that our list called items. While current item does not equal a blank line. So sorry, if current item does not equal a blank line, we're gonna go items dot append. Items dot append. And obviously inside the parentheses we have the current item variable. Okay. So once that all that's all done, um, once you finish our loop, we just want to print at the end. We're going to print their um, list back to them, so items. Oopsie, there, there we go, that's meant to be items, not item. Okay, now I sort of just went through that really quickly, now I'm going to fully explain it. So, items is a list, and so while the current item does not equal a blank line, so as long as it's not continuing a blank line, this sequence will continue once more. So, current item equals input, pretty self-explanatory, we're just getting prompting the user for input. So, if current item does not equal a blank line, items dot append. So we're adding the current item to the end. Now the reason we're doing this is because of the fact that um, here, what's actually happening is, although you might think we don't have need this because we have that there, um, if they enter in a blank line here, that it's already been checked that it's not a blank line. So that means we have to check check again before we append to the list. The reason we do this is because we don't want a blank character inside our items list. So we're going to give this a quick run. Now remember, a quick way of running things in idle is F5 followed by enter. And then I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And I'm just going to call it um, project2. Enter an item, so bananas, cookies, apples, lemons. Enter a blank line, it prints out our list back to us. Now this is quite good. However, the one thing that we're missing in this program, A, is a bit of user friendliness at the start and at the end, actually printing out saying, oh, these are your items. And also, instead of actually printing out your list, you might actually want to print out each item individually, maybe print them down the page as opposed to across the page, so maybe go down as opposed to across. But anyway, I think, um, seeing as we don't know something called a for loop, we won't be able to do that, but we're going to be having a look at for loops in the recent, in the next couple of Python tutorials, and then... I'm actually going to create another video. I'm going to call the video shopping list project number two. So that will be our third Python project. And we're going to be amending to this program and making it even better. So anyway, that's about it, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Now, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smack that like button and subscribe to be notified whenever I make another one of these. And I'll be sure to see each and every one of you guys next time.